Hi, I'm Tom P. with Garden State Adventures. We're on the banks of the Musconetcong River the day before New Year's Eve to experience some great winter trout fishing. I know, trout in the spring, trout in October when they stock as well. Yes, the trout do hold over. There's plenty of them around. And the best part, no fishermen. You'll have the rivers to yourself. There's big browns out there. There's big rainbows out there. And they're hungry, and we're going to catch them. Join us. Okay, water is up a bit and stained from the recent snow and rains that we had the past few days, but the trout are still going to be eyeballing your bait as they're coming down. We're going to be baiting with salmon eggs, have some wax worms, also going to try some plugging, have a six and a half foot St. Croix Avid ultralight action rod, very fast tip, can detect the bites, going with a four pound main line and two pound test Invisalign fluorocarbon leader material from suffix refractive index close to that of water virtually disappears subsurface haha -ha. baiting with the gulp wax worm looks just like a caddis worm out of the case and our number one bait this time of year the motto you have to egg them to plague them mike's garlic salmon eggs you see the shrimp salmon eggs they work the cheese eggs they work the glow eggs they work nothing works in the winter like mike's garlic eggs something about the enzyme and garlic especially under cold water conditions like this where the fish are lethargic they're going to smack it and we're also going to try some plugging with some Missouri pins minnows if the fish get active but right now it looks like it's going to be a bait game so we're going to hit the water and get some trout they are here Drop off into a hole here. It flattens out to a rift there before it drops in to another run of riffles. There are probably some more trout by the tail of the pool. The sun finally came out. The wind died down. It was blowing probably 40 to 50 earlier. Snow blowing out all over the place. Sun's out, moderating temperatures. Took off the gloves. Looks like we're going to get a few fish this afternoon. Probably call it quits at around 2, 2.30. Once that sun gets below those mountains down there, man, it gets cold. And we are going to uh, enjoy some winter trout fishing a couple of days before New Year's. What better way to end a great 2012? Nice hole running through here. Big rock right there. You see the broken water. It's usually a nice little slot, sleeve, if you will, right down there. It's going to curl back around. If anything's going to be in here, it's going to be there, right in that spot, in the hole. Make it down. So most of these fish are from that autumn stocking. Man, I'm on a hot hole right here. Yellow egg, that's it. The yellow egg is there. I don't know if that was the same fish. Twice I missed that, right there. Twice I missed it. Another one cut me off. This is it. Taking some drag, taking some drag. So even though like in the summer you don't want to fight the fish that long, because they'd end up be released and they may end up dying. Same thing in the winter. I don't like to keep them on that long, get them in and gone as quickly as possible. And usually, it's a gamble, usually I'll save the last one to eat. Now look at, again, the hook set, look at that brown. The few spots on that, few big spots. Whoa, can you close up on that? Look how cool that fish is. And see where the hook is? Right there right there right there right there perfect in the left that's another thing with eggs small hooks soon as you feel that tap set it not like you know give it a couple of seconds soon as you feel that tap nail it if the trout does swallow it snip it the line as close as you can that hook's going to pass through and or rust out wow Getting it down, getting it down. Now the bite's in the winter, it's not gonna, there you go, whoa! All right, egg them to plague them is the motto. Oh boy, nice, nice brown. Now the Muscanetcong and the Pequest rivers and the lower flat have great holdover brown trout potential. You'll get a holdover brookie in there and some wild brookies, for example, up on the upper flat, upper big flat. But when you're talking brown trout water, the muskie and the Pequest are second to none. And I'll tell you, I'll put them up with some of the waters up in New York State and Eastern Pennsylvania, without a doubt. 
A beautiful fish here. Beautiful fish. Again, it's a tap, tap bite. I'm using yellow garlic eggs. And man, that water is cold. So usually the browns have a lot more pea and vinegar in them, so to speak. Right now, it's just a tap, tap, and you're gonna get one good run out of them. Again, this is typical of winter trout fishing. They don't give you much energy-wise, but they are feeding. Water temperatures may be cold, and they're not gonna feed all day. Periods, periods here, periods there, a couple of minutes, bait comes by them. If you can get close on that, Jim, look at those orange spots on that brown. Look at those full fins. Beautiful fish, beautiful brown. I give him maybe 14, 15 inches. Here you go, bro. Now I plan to keep one or two for dinner. Yeah, 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 I kill trout and I eat trout. But right now I just wanna catch a few and enjoy this late, late, late December day. Some great scenery out here. Saw a couple of deer up there before. The winter secret, Mike's garlic trout eggs. Cheating? No. Even power bait now has a garlic scent. So there's something in an enzyme in garlic. Bass love it, saltwater fish love it, trout go bats. Trout can go crazy, browns in particular. Now rainbows are known for being primarily egg eaters and I love using eggs in the spring for the rainbows. Browns and brookies are autumn, early winter spawners. But they see an egg coming down, boy, it's like putting a slice of pizza or a calzone in front of me. It's just irresistible. Again, a tap, tap, bite, bumping. I may have to go a little heavier on the shot. Well, season's eatings will do that to you. Yo, nice, smack, smack, ah. Oh. Oh man, my, on the garlic egg. Oh man, nice fish. Uh-oh, two pound, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, little $14.99 optics reel, <laughs> still does it. Look at my, still does it. Man, that fish hit that egg, I'm telling you, garlic eggs, you have to egg them to plague them. Whoa, big bow. Bow in the hole, bow in the hole. I'm gonna bring that one up to the bank. No net, I just, I just hate nets. Well, unless you're gonna spend the money on them over the rubber meshes, I, I think the nylon damages the fish slime. Keep your hands wet, in fact, this one. Oh man, look at that. Look at the color on that rainbow. As the wind picks up, we're saying down it, down it. All right. Perfect lip hook. Man, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> Look at the bottom lip. Look at that rainbow. Come here, come here, come here, you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe not. Look at that, look at that, look at that pinch. Look at that stripe and look at that hook set. Actually, I'm extremely lucky. Anyway, the way this fish hit that garlic egg, it pretty much hooked itself. Oh man, that water must be 33 degrees. Ready for a great day of bottom fishing? Then hop aboard T-Rex Charters with Captain Tom Ferreira. Running from Little Egg Inlet on a roomy 23 Pacific skiff, Captain Tom will get you to the wrecks and reefs in no time and turn you on to fast rod bending action. Quality tackle and fresh bait are provided. Enjoy the best bottom fishing along the Jersey Shore on T-Rex Charters. Call Captain Tom at 609-661-3966 or go to trexcharters.com. When it's time to go fishing, be sure to visit Dow's Boat Rental for all your tackle, lures, and bait. This full-line tackle shop offers the latest in rods, reels, and lures to fit every budget, and it has New Jersey's biggest supply of alewife herring and a full selection of live and preserved baits. And when you're ready to experience the fantastic fishing available in Lake Apacon, you can rent a rowboat or motorboat here at Dow's. 
Stop in and see Lori, Jimmy, or Joe at Dow's Boat Rental, located at 145 Nolans Point Road on beautiful Lake Apacon. Call ahead 973-663-3826 for a fishing report on Lake Apacon, only at Dow's Boat Rental. Now I'm tossing that egg out in this flat. There's a drop right there. It goes down to about four, four and a half feet. Probably five, five and a half now with this high water. I forget we had rain earlier in the week. Oh yeah, right there it was. There it was. I told you right in there. Oh yes. They love the garlic eggs. Now that's that's the brown town. That's what I want. That's where you can find it. These are some of the ones stocked in the fall. Look at that fish. Coming down, kind of two pound test here, leader. He's taking me down. Oh boy, this one, I think, I think this is the one that I'm gonna stuff with rice and shrimp tonight. Maybe not. Let me get him up close. Look at that brown. Look at that brownie. Another Tom P. Lucky hook set. Now, if this were May or October or April, this sucker would be 100,000 yards upstream already with this light tackle. But, whoa. Hook right there, right? Oh man. Took it right, right there, right? Perfect lip hook set. I am the luckiest guy today on the muskie. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go, there you go. Look at that brown, beautiful, full fit. Look at that. Jersey trout fishing, man, in the winter. They are here. Next up is that Pequest Trout Conservation Area, man, because they're a lot bigger fish in there than that one. The taps are getting the bites. It's not the whomp that you get. What is that? Just a little tap to the line. That's why the St. Croix Avid Graphite's unbelievable. Sensitive as all get out. Your reel could be whatever. I have a little $14, $15 quantum optics that I probably caught a thousand fish with the past couple of years. Nothing fancy, decent drag. Make sure the line is fresh and you have a sensitive tip on the rod like that. Felt that sucker on the pink? It looked like the brown up in the hole above. Taking some drag in that current. And to me, the besides the solitude, the best part, the solitude naturally leads into this. The best part about winter trout fishing here, January, late December, January into February, there's no one out here. There's no one out here. Nice little brown. Look at those orange spots, man. Looks like, looks like little clementines along her side. Little female. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Orange, orange. And that sun. Whew. Spring, summer, or fall, you'll catch them all after shopping in Captain Dave Shoals at Seacon Bay Sportsman Center. Here you'll find an outstanding selection of tackle, rigs, lures, and a full selection of live baits. The expert staff will outfit you with what it takes to catch stripers, fluke, weak fish, blues, and blackfish. Experience the Atlantic City area's great inshore and bay fishing on a charter with Captain Dave. Call 609-484-0409 or visit abseekinbay.com. Welcome to Cyclecraft, where we have everything you need from sales, service, and accessories for all your cycling needs. Whether you're a novice or a seasoned veteran, our friendly trained staff can accommodate all your needs, from a custom fitting to an expert repair. We can help you pick out that right bike for you. We even have a kid's bike trade-in program. We are passionate about everything we do. We are conveniently located at 99 Route 46 in Parsippany and open seven days a week. Cyclecraft, for the ride of your life.
Bring it, no, it's not. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Now we all know trout, the salmonids, the chars are cold water species. So you figure, ideally, ideally, water in the mid 50s to, to say 66, 67, prime trout time. You get above that 70, close to that 70, above that mark, the browns are still active, but the rainbow, the brookies in particular, don't respond well to the warm water. But at the other end of the spectrum, you have water probably in the mid 30s right now, and the trout are lethargic. You see they're getting a hit, they're tapping it, they're giving one run, maybe two, and that's it. And while I'm yapping, miss another tape. Man, that wind is getting, getting blustery again. Cloud cover up. Swing it around. Watch for the tap. Feel, feel. See, right now I'm losing that line in the sun and the glare on the water. My other spool has high vis. It's neon tangerine suffix siege. High vis lines are. Uh, I missed another one. All right, so they're still here. Feel that breeze, man. We're gonna wrap up this rodeo pretty soon. Cause I am. Watch, watch. After, if I get a hit, I'm going to take him sideways. Take it sideways. Nope. Aids all split. Give him something different again. Let's go to the pink. Look at the top of the salmon egg jar is icing up. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, side strike on that one. Oh yeah, out in the river, right at the end of that crease. Yellow egg, yellow garlic. Oh right, you are going in the broiler. Perfect eating size. Oh yeah. Oh man, hands. Oh. Oh. Man, look at that bullet brown. Look a little hungry there, bud. Nah. We'll get enough meat off you. Big belly boy needs big meat. Hit right at the end of that crease. If they don't, they really, again, they don't fight that long in this cold water. There's a little. Not paying attention. Again, the wind didn't feel that hit. Cleaned again. Cleaned again. Just one, just one more for dinner, one. I could have had that one, but he was from hunger. Nets, I believe.
I believe this bite pretty much a wrap for the day. Again, you're only going to have a couple of hours in that window, unless you get an unseasonably warm day. You know, you get those days sometimes, January, February, you get a day or two in the 50s. Keep it to about 11 in the morning till 2, 12 to 3, somewhere in there. Two, three hours. Bright sun like that, nudge the water temperature up a bit. Now listen, runoff is not good. Snow melt is not good, it robs oxygen. Stresses the fish more so. Ideally, cold, but bright sun. There it is, oh yeah, there it is. On the egg, that's, that's my dinner right there. Whoa! Yo! Is that bottom or is that a log? A log with fins. I'm not moving this fish. I am not moving this trout. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ready for a great day of bottom fishing? Then hop aboard T-Rex Charters with Captain Tom Ferreira. Running from Little Egg Inlet on a roomy 23 Pacific skiff, Captain Tom will get you to the wrecks and reefs in no time and turn you on to fast rod bending action. Quality tackle and fresh bait are provided. Enjoy the best bottom fishing along the Jersey Shore on T-Rex Charters. Call Captain Tom at 609-661-3966 or go to trexcharters.com. When it's time to go fishing, be sure to visit Dow's Boat Rental for all your tackle, lures, and bait. This full-line tackle shop offers the latest in rods, reels, and lures to fit every budget, and it has New Jersey's biggest supply of alewife herring and a full selection of live and preserved baits. And when you're ready to experience the fantastic fishing available in Lake Apacon, you can rent a rowboat or motorboat here at Dow's. Stop in and see Lori, Jimmy, or Joe at Dow's Boat Rental, located at 145 Nolan's Point Road on beautiful Lake Apacon. Call ahead 973-663-3826 for a fishing report on Lake Apacon, only at Dow's Boat Rental. Spring, summer, or fall, you'll catch them all after shopping in Captain Dave Shoals at Seacombe Bay Sportsman Center. Here you'll find an outstanding selection of tackle, rigs, lures, and a full selection of live baits. The expert staff will outfit you with what it takes to catch stripers, fluke, weak fish, blues, and blackfish. Experience the Atlantic City area's great inshore and bay fishing on a charter with Captain Dave. Call 609-484-0409 or visit abseekinbay.com. Whoa, of course, no net. Of course, look at this rainbow. You talk a breeder. The breeders that are put out, rainbows love eggs. Where do you see this? She's going back. I want a youngster to catch this, a novice angler, someone else. This, I, I don't, you don't, you don't kill a fish like this. You just don't. And I'm the original meat man. Kill your limit, don't let me your kill but not this. She's been around a long time. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Yellow garlic egg. That's all you need this time of year. Oh man, that hook is just, just big hen fish, big hen rainbow. Woo! Oh boy. Right in the, if you saw where this fish was hooked, You'd scream. 
right there. Can you, can you zero on that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Mama dear, look at that. Read a bow. Sorry, Mama, come here. Come to Grandpa Tom P. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, still tell you, she's pissed. Now she's pissed. Talk to Jeff Matthews, the hatchery. So yeah, those are three-year-old, three and a half-year-old spent breeder rainbows. Fish was eight, nine pounds, which is what this fish is every bit of. They do survive. They don't catch them all. Again, not a soul to be found. And look at that, look at that. Can you dig it? Shoes. Yep. Tom P's gonna let this fish go. Did someone say Tom P's gonna let this fish go? Come here, baby. Au revoir, Ms. Rainbow. You know what? I believe I am going to go home and throw out some sea bass because that fish was just too beautiful and big to kill and eat. Again, this is from the meat man. Kill your limit, don't limit your kill, but not in the winter. Beautiful time on the water on the Muskie, the Pequest, the Toms River even in central Jersey. Great winter trout fishing on the Toms as well. Very different kind of water to fish. Get out and enjoy. I know late December, January, a lot of guys are into the hunting, the giant sea bass and salt water on those trips. Check out Jersey's trout fishing. It is unbelievable. And you'll have the waters to yourself. Tom P for Garden State Adventures. It is cold but I am warm inside. Thank you, Mama Rainbow. Till next time, Garden State Adventures Winter Trout. Doesn't get any better than this.